can still see a partial eclipse in northern Utah. But we'll see a crescent of the sun here in Provo. All right, you heard it, but how important are those fashionable glasses if you plan on watching the eclipse this evening? Yeah, we're going to find out. Dr. Bala Ambati joins us now to talk about the importance of protecting your eyes today, or I should say this afternoon. Yeah, really any day of the year. And I was just thinking, I've got sunglasses, the big ones, you know, that should cover my eyes completely. Can I wear those tonight? Not good enough. Um, really? Nope. Good morning, John and Kyle. Thanks for good the morning. Thanks for joining Thanks us. Thanks for the opportunity to be with you. Um, the sun has uh, a very intense uh, yellow light as well as ultraviolet light that you can't see, and sunglasses just don't block it enough. Even the real expensive ones. Even the real fancy ones. You really need something like these very fashionable eclipse shades. Uh, <laughs> eclipse you shades. Can say there. The price they're is probably almost, right. The price is probably right, but the problem is they're very hard to find right now. Yeah. Um, you can still get some, I think, at the Clark Planetarium or the Leonardo. Um, okay. okay. Um, but they are very important to. So what to wear. what makes this uh, different? Well, basically, what's going on is that uh, your eye is built to focus light, and so when you're looking at the sun normally, you have a natural reflex to blink. But today, with the sun covered by the moon during the eclipse. You can look at it longer physically, but that lens focusing is still working. And so mm -hmm. it's like a giant lens that's focusing light onto an ant, except in this case, the ant is your own retina. It's your own retina, right. Which is going to, which is going to burn out if you look at it. And okay. so what are the effects if you burn your retina? Well, they can be permanent vision loss. So oh, many, wow. of, many of us have relatives who have macular degeneration where the uh, center of the retina has essentially died. Mm -hmm. And that same effect can be induced by looking at the sun too long. Mm. Um, and so you can get premature destruction of those retinal cells, which may be ir irreversible. And Dr. Ambadi, of course, tonight we're stressing the importance of eyewear because of the eclipse, because we'll be standing there fixated on right. the object in the sky. But it's not that it's any stronger or brighter than any other day of the year, but we just don't stand there and typically look at the sun for yeah. long periods of time. That that's other essentially day. it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. So wearing the protective eyewear, just sunglasses on a daily basis, it is so important to the health of your eyes. Absolutely. I mean, today it's very tempting to look at the sun just because of the natural mm -hmm. phenomenon that's occurring. Uh, but in general, you want to wear sunglasses going outside. Obviously, most people are not going to look at the sun directly on a day-to-day -day basis. Sure. But today, these are essential. Okay, really important. Yep. What if what if you can't get those? Well, if you can't get those, there are a couple I mean, of alternatives. What am I going to tell my son? I don't. Sure. I don't have any. <laughs> exactly. Um, there's a couple of things you can do. So kids are very good at building these pinhole boxes where you can uh, make a box and use a pinhole to shine the eclipse onto the floor or tile that you're viewing it from. Okay. Um, and that way you can see the the eclipse happening. Another thing you can do just on the street is to. Uh, stand under a tree with a lot of leaves and the leaves will make a pinhole effect where you can see uh, the shadow of the moon on the sun reflected on the shadow of the sun on the, on the, on the ground. Okay. So there's a couple of uh, easy alternatives that anyone can do. Okay, very good. All right, Dr. Ambadi with the Moran Eye Center, right? Moran Eye Center. I'd yeah. like, just like to uh, take a quick second to let the viewers know that Moran has just opened a new uh, daybreak uh, clinic. Uh, so oh, nice. we're seeing patients there uh, mm -hmm. along with the rest of University yeah. Hospital. Um, and anyone who's in the south or the west of the valley, you are welcome come to come see you. Just do not go in saying, my eyes hurt. And you know, I've been staring at that eclipse last week. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know. Right. <laughs> we well, were all warned. We'll, we'll still be happy to see you. And, and <laughs> we're doing uh, general eye exams and LASIK evaluations yeah. at, at the Daybreak Clinic. So Thanks for letting us know how pleasure. important it is tonight. Because I was thinking sunglasses would work. But yeah, now I, I know too. better. I was thinking exactly. the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Nice Keeping to meet you. us safe. OK, thank, thank you. you.